Alright, so in this presentation naman, this is the second part or the continuation of our topic about the uniformly accelerated motion. But in this presentation, focus tayo sa equation na pwede natin magagamit mapa-vertical or mapa-horizontal dimension man yung problem natin. Okay? So in this um, uniformly accelerated motion equation, meron tayong apat na gagamitin na equation na pwede din natin i-consider as kinematic equations. Okay? So kinematic sa sa mga branch ng physics that focus or study in the motion of objects. So meron tayong apat na given dyan na equation. Out of that four equations, meron tayong limang variables na pwede makita. For VI, we have the initial velocity, VF for final velocity, velocity, A for acceleration, T for time, and D for displacement. And both variables, may mga units dapat tayong matandaan para hindi tayo malito kung ano ba ang gagamitin po natin. For example, we have in the VI and VF, obviously, they are both velocity. So, ang units na ginagamit natin kay velocity ay meter per second. Well, for the acceleration, ang common unit na ginagamit po natin kay acceleration ay meter per second squared. Okay? Now, for the time, okay, obviously, dapat lahat ng mga variables are connected sa bawat isa. Okay? So, so yung time natin, and then pansin niyo doon sa velocity natin, meron tayong meter per second, and for the acceleration, meter per second squared. So, obviously, ang unit ng time po natin ay second. And obviously, also with the displacement, okay, na ginamit doon sa velocity at acceleration, meter. So, obviously, ang unit po ng ating displacement ay meter. So, huwag kakalimutan po itong mga units para hindi tayo malito sa pagdetermine ng mga variables when it comes sa mga problem solving na gagawin po natin later on. Alright? Alright, let's try to answer this first problem. Okay, let's read. Maria is playing with a ball on top of a building but the ball fell and hits the ground after 2.6 seconds. So what is the final velocity of the ball just before it hits the ground and how high is the building? Okay, so may dalawa tayong hinahanap dito sa question na to. Meron tayong final velocity and also kung gaano kataas or yung height ng isang building. Okay, so in computing, the UAM, ang technique natin dito ay dapat may mahanap tayong tatlong variable. Kapag nakahanap na tayong tatlong variable or given sa problem, madali na natin madetermine kung anong formula ang gagamitin natin and also kung paano natin makompute yung uh, problem mismo. Okay? Now, hanapin na natin tatlong variable dito. Okay? So, meron tayong given dito na initial velocity na 0 meter per second. Bakit 0 meter per second nga ba? Papansin ninyo doon sa problema, bago mahulog, okay, but the ball fell, okay, bago mahulog yung bola sa building, okay, meron siyang initial velocity na 0 meter per second. Okay, at rest, imagine na lang bago siya mahulog sa building. Okay, now for the second variable or given, meron tayong acceleration na negative 9.8 meter per second squared. Magtataka kayo saan nakuha yung 9.8 meter per second. Kung na panood nyo yung first part ng video natin, okay, um, this problem is the best example for free fall. Okay? And as we all know, kapag free fall, okay, constant ang kanyang acceleration, which is the value of our gravity. Okay? Ang, gra ang value ng gravity natin ay 9.8 meter per second squared. Okay? Pero kung mapapansin ninyo, meron ding negative na ginamit, na ginamit dito. Okay, bakit nga ba? Kasi pa-downward yung motion ng bola dito sa problem na ito. That's why negative 9.8 meter per second squared ang ating acceleration dito. Next variable or given, meron tayong time na obviously given na po sa ating problem. Okay, so meron na tayong tatlong variable. Next uh, step na gagawin natin, maghanap na tayo ng perfect equation dito sa mga variable na to, And also nakadepende doon sa tanong na hinahanap or doon sa variable na hinahanap natin. So first problem na sasagutin natin is 
what is the final velocity of the ball before it hits the ground. So, final velocity. Obviously, may dalawang final velocity tayong formula dito. Pero, uh, we believe that this one suit the, the, the problem. Kasi, meron na tayong initial velocity, meron na tayong acceleration, meron na tayong time na nakuha dito sa mga variable na to. So, we will use this kind of um, equation po. So, in the solution, we will just input the formula na gagamitin po natin, which is the final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration multiplied by time. Okay? Now, uh, itatransfer lang natin yung mga value ng ating mga variable dito sa ating formula po. So, ang ating initial velocity is 0 meter per second. Ang acceleration is negative 9.8 meter per second squared times the time which is the 2.6 seconds. So, for the next part, of, um, i-cancel out na natin tong 0 meter per second kasi there is no value na. So, what we need to do na is we need to multiply the acceleration in time. So, negative 9.8 times 2.6, so makukuha natin ang negative 26 meter per second. So, that is the final velocity ng bola before ma-hit niya yung ground. Okay? And as you observe, meter per second ang ginamit natin unit. Okay? Gaya ng sabi ko dito sa first part na ito na ang unit na gagamitin po natin kay velocity ay meter per second. Alright? Okay, let's try to look for the height of the building naman. Okay? Kasi kanina nahan na natin yung final velocity niya. Okay, and also na-identify na natin kanina yung tatlong variables. So, we will be using the three variables in answering the, in looking for the height of the building. Okay, and then the next part na gagawin natin, hahanap tayo ng formula out of this four kinematic equations na nandito. So, obviously, itong equation na to ang pwedeng mag-accommodate doon sa tatlong variables na 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 na-identify natin kanina. So, in the solution part, we will just put the um, displacement is equal to initial velocity multiplied by time plus one half of uh, one half multiplied by the acceleration multiplied by the time squared. Okay? Then, all the value of our variables, okay, it transfer lang natin doon sa uh, formula na gagamitin po natin. For the initial velocity, meron tayong 0 meter per second. For the time, meron tayong 2.6 seconds. For the uh, one half here, as you observe, meron tayong fraction dyan. Okay, ginawa ko dyang 0 0.5 kasi kalahati ng 1, 0 0.5. So, para hindi malito yung iba dyan kasi kapag nakakita ng fraction, medyo nalilito na sila. So, you can use this one, 0 0.5 or 1 half para walang din po ang lagabas. Now, for the acceleration, meron tayong negative 9.8 meter per second squared and for the time, meron tayong 2.6 squared, uh, 2.6 seconds squared. Okay? Now, 0. Point meter per second, uh, 0. Point, uh, 0 meter per second times 2.6, okay, obviously, 0 po ang lalabas. So, we need to cancel this one now. On the next part, we need to multiply 0 0.5 to negative 9.8. Ang makukuha po natin ay negative 4.9 meter per second squared. And then, for the 2.6 here, there is a square dyan. So, meaning, we need to multiply the 2.6 times 2.6. Ang makukuha po natin ay 6.17. Ah, 6.76. Okay? Now, we will need to multiply the negative 4.9 meter per second squared to 6.76. Makukuha po natin ay negative 33.124 meter. Obviously, negative po dyan ang nakuha natin. So, gagawin na natin absolute value dahil distance or displacement or the height lang ng building ang hinahanap po natin. So, we have 33.124 meter. And then, meter ang ginamit natin dahil displacement or height po ng building ang hinahanap po natin. Always remember sa mga unit na gagamitin natin, depende doon sa hinahanap or depende doon sa mga variable na given doon sa problem na iyon. Okay, sagutan naman natin itong pangalawang tanong na to. 
So a car accelerates from rest at a rate of 2 meter per second squared for 5 seconds. So what is the final velocity? So katulad kanina, kung naalala niyo yung first problem na sagutan natin, may hinahanap din na final velocity doon. And also, uh, gaya na sinabi ko, dapat makahanap tayo ng tatlong variables para ma-identify din natin kung anong equation ba ang gagamitin natin dito sa problem na to. So we need to identify the um, given the three variables na dapat mahanap talaga po natin. So, meron tayong initial velocity na 0 meter per second. Bakit? Bakit 0 meter per second? Kasi papansin niyo from rest, okay, from umpisa, nagre-rest siya. So, sa tingin niyo ano kanyang velocity? So, obviously, 0 meter per second yan. And then, meron tayong given na dyan na binigay na Two point, uh, acceleration which is 2 meter per second squared. Okay? Madaling ma-identify na acceleration yan kasi doon sa unit na ginagamit niya na meter per second squared. Pag uh, familiar kayo sa mga units na ginagamit in every variables, napakadali na para sa atin pa uh, ang mag-identify ng mga variables when it comes to that units po. Okay? And then obviously, mayroong numerical value na binigay pa dyan na 5 seconds. So obviously, that is Time. Ang hinahanap po ay final velocity. So, parehong-pareho sa ginawa natin kanina, ang gagamitin po nating formula ay ito. So, we will put this formula in the solution part natin dito. The final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration multiplied with the time. Again, the, the value of the three variables natin dito, transfer lang natin doon sa formula na na-identify natin. Okay? For the initial velocity, meron tayong 0 meter per second plus 2 meter per second squared for the acceleration and for the time, we have the 5 seconds. Obviously, sabi ko din kanina, may 0 meter per second na dyan. Cancel na natin. Wala namang value naman yan. So, meron tayong ditong 2 meter per second squared times 5. Obviously, that is 2 times 5. We have the 10 meter per second. So, 10 meter per second. Ang unit natin dito ay meter per second kasi nga, Velocity or final velocity ang hinahanap po natin. Be familiar po sa mga unit na ginagamit po natin. Now, for the problem number 3, okay, we have a runner starts from rest and accelerates uniformly at a rate of 3 meter per second squared for 10 seconds. So, what is the distance covered by the runner? Okay, so there is a distance na hinahanap ulit po natin or displacement, obviously displacement po ang hinahanap natin dyan. Again, we need to identify at least 3 variables. Papansin ninyo, meron tayong 3 meter per second na dyan sa problem at 10 seconds na numerical value po. So obviously, um, meron tayong acceleration at 3 meter per second squared and time na 10 seconds. Saan na ulit nakuha yung 0 meter per second? Kasi nga, a runner starts from rest. Nag-umpisa siya sa nothing. So, the velocity of it is 0 meter per second. To accommodate the variables na na-identify natin, itong formula po ang gagamitin po natin. Like what uh, we use a while ago po. Okay? So, we will include this formula dun sa ating solution part. Yan po yung formula. This sans or displacement is equal to initial velocity multiplied by the time plus 1 half times acceleration times time squared. Okay, now we will transfer we will transfer all the value po natin dito sa formula na gagamitin po natin. So for the initial velocity, meron tayong 0 meter per second plus 10 seconds. Then plus 0 0.5 sa mga naka, nalilito sa fraction, pwede naman po natin gawin na 0 0.5 or sa mga magagaling na bata po dyan, okay, pwede 1 half na rin po ang gamitin natin. Pero for those who are, uh, who are having a hard time po sa fraction, pwede naman po 0 0.5. Okay, 0 0.5, then 3 meter per second square for the acceleration and for the time, meron tayong 10 seconds. Okay, so 10 seconds. Okay, so papasin niyo dito, 0 times 10, so obviously 0 ang value niya, cancel out na natin dyan. So we need to multiply this one, the 1 half or 0 0.5 to the acceleration. So ang makukuha natin dyan is 1.5 meter per second squared. Then here, may sec 10 seconds squared siya. So, 10 times 10, ang makukuha po natin ay 100 seconds squared. 
Okay, so we need to multiply the 1.5 to 100 seconds. Ang mga kukuha po natin ay 150 meters. Again, meters ang unit po natin dahil distance ang hinaharap po natin. Distance po. Alright. 